now we will see different types of graphs and these type of graph includes the directed graph continuous graph discontinued graph and completed graphs we will see the details of these types of graphs in the coming slides so in the directed graph many bioinformatics problems can be solved and we can use directed graphs to solve the different types of bioinformatics problems in which every edge is directed from one vertex to another and we can see that in this diagram this is one vertex this is second vertex and we see that this is the edge that represent the direction of the edge so this is the directed graph so each of the edge it is directed in a specific direction so these types of graphs are called directed graphs so every vertex v in a directed graph is characterized by in degree v the number of the incoming edges and the out degree v that is the number of out going edges so we can calculate the outgoing and incoming edges by seeing this diagram and for every directed graph g is equal to v and e v is vertex and e is the edges and it is uh, represented as the summation of in degree v and that is equal to the out degree v so in the directed graphs the number of in degrees and the number of out degrees they are equal in number since every edge is counted once on the right hand side of the equation and once on the right hand side of the equation second is the connected graphs and a graph is called a connected if all pairs of vertices can be connected by a path which is a continuous sequence of edges where each successive edge begins where the previous one left off so in this cyclic graph we can see that there are many cyclic paths present in this cyclic graph so the first path is and then another characteristic of this graph is that when we start from one point we end up at the same point so the first path we start from the vertex 3 and then we move to the vertex 2 then 10 then 11 and then again we end up with at the vertex 3 from where we have started so there is another path cyclic path in this one that starts from 3 then it moves to 2 then it from 2 it moves to the vertex 8 from 8 it moves to vertex 6 and from 6 to vertex 12 to then 7 then vertex 5 then from 5 to vertex 11 and then from vertex 11 to vertex 3 so we can see that it moves in this direction so this is also a cyclic graph so it means that when the vertices they are connected with each other then the graph is called the cyclic graph the third type of graph is the disconnected graphs and disconnected graphs can be partitioned into the connected components and we can think of a graph as a map showing the cities and we can represent each city as a vertex and the highways as a edges that connect them and we can see on the map that not all of the cities are connected by the highways and for example we can take the example that we cannot travel from lahore to colombo through highways because there is a ocean between the lahore and the colombo so it we can see that for example if we this is lahore and this is colombo we cannot travel directly from here to here and these are the example of this connected graph and the last example is the complete graph a graph is called the complete graph if there is an edge between every two vertices in that graph 